Good morning everyone. Thank you for joining my channel today. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm Deb from Project Life Deb's Way and I tend to do um, a scrapbook photograph album and this is the layout that I will be doing this tutorial on. So here's one of the pages and here is the other side as well and it has beautiful um the heartfelt creation little flower stamps that i've done now i have used the paper collection from stamperia called rose perfume um, i must admit this is an eight by eight inch pad i did find it a bit difficult to get all my um background papers from so i think if you bought this particular um, pad I would actually buy the ephemera pack and maybe try and get one extra um, sort of a, a background uh, sheet of paper now your background sheets are these type of papers that have an overall um, pattern that you can actually cut your large um, six by four background papers from so that is my suggestion if you're using particularly stamperia because they have a lot of pages like this that um like this that d d d sort of don't have a particular particularly these they have like all the tags but that's on the front on the back sheet so as I said I did have a bit of trouble and like you do have your three by four cut aparts so it's just a little suggestion if you're using an eight by eight just watch that you have enough background papers to use because otherwise you do have problems doing your layout to get um, the type of layout that I do so I'll go through the step from start to finish and I'll also does and ephemera that are used so let's get on with making our cards now our first card I have got all my base cards are six by four in the cream and I'm doing that for every single um, card will have a base card in cream then I'm going to put my floral base cards on top now all of these uh, cards for the six by fours they are measuring five and three quarters by three and three quarters and i've distressed around the outside and then we will put our base cards on and just pop that in centered just like that now you do need to distress the edges quite heavily on these cards to actually make everything lift now i am going to put this little green card is just one eighth of an inch all round so it is five and a half by two and this one is five and three eighths by one and three quarters. And then that will get popped onto there. And I'll always find it is much easier to pop these cards on before you actually stick them all down. And this one is going to go just at the top with an eighth of an inch border all the way around and have it centered now I'm going to hide this bit because I will have the photo mat on there now I have got my three by four true black mat so when you get your three by four photograph you need to just trim just a smidgen off just to give a little bit of black around your your picture frame and that is going to go on the card like so now before we um, I will take this down I'm 
just take off one of the pieces of tape and get that card down because you're going to build up things underneath. So if you take this tape off, you won't be able to get things underneath. Now, once again with this, we just need to gunge up the edges a bit because what will happen if you don't, when you pop this down, you'll have no definition and it will just mute in, into everything. So now we're going to pop that one like that on first and then we will build everything over the top of that. So we'll just anchor that down first. Now I've used some heartfelt um, stamps and die cut flowers that I've made and also out of my stash I've just got some um, small rose leaves like this that I have actually cut down. So I'm going to put two flowers on this. A couple of leaves on there. So now what I'm going to do with these flowers to give me a bit of depth and I decided I didn't want to scrunch all my flowers up. I wanted them quite flat this time. So I've just cut some little round circles so I can just pop underneath my flower. So when I raise it, it's definitely got a little bit of um, height. So I will get my glue and I'll pop my leaves on. Get those down first. Get the base card first. And I think now we can take that tape off of the photo mat and get that stuck down. And I've only stuck the center of that flower. Now the next flower I wanted to raise up just slightly. So I'm popping a bit of that. I think I even might do two. Put a couple of dots on there. there we have card number one done. I'm undecided with this dream. I may put that to one side and just use it on another one of the uh, cards. So we'll go on to card number two. Card number two is once again quite a a, um, a simple card to construct. So I've got my five and three quarter by three and a quarter base card to go on my six by four cream. So I have really made this very gungy around um, and distressed it quite high. Now to get instead of just doing the edges, I've actually swiped my um, dauber a little bit further into the paper to get that um, nice muted distressed edge. I just found with this layout it just needed that extra distressing. So we'll just put that onto our card centered. 
Now with this one I've got a four and a quarter by three and a quarter uh, photo mat and I've just uh, put a bit of that green um, cardstock and the cardstock was four and a half by three and a half. So that will take a true three by four photo. Now this one We'll just pop this over here centered and I've left enough space under here so I won't push that down as yet. Now this came off of the um, front page um, where they describe what papers because I just needed a little bit of extra red florals with this. And it was what was available so I am going to tuck that as far out as I can possibly get it and once again I have got my little green leaves and I'm going to tuck that under and over so I will just get some of my glue There wasn't many leaves and things that came with this, so I've actually had to go into my um, stash and find some leaves and seeing things that I had lying in my stash from the other kits. So once again, I've got my little circle just to raise that flower just above your photo mat. I think we might bring that slightly across. So it's a little bit further. I'm still looking for a place to put my dream and it's not on this card. I think that needs an extra little flower just to be tucked underneath. That one white flower is just looking a bit um, lonely. So we'll tuck one underneath. And I even think I might tuck another one in. These are absolutely flat. There we go. So there we have card number two finished. Now as an extra I decided to actually pop a little bit of um, orange in with this layout so I will do my normal that I do I have these little lovely strips and I'm just going to get a couple of those little strips and put them on my wingspan I then pop a little tiny double of glue on their body. Once I get the glue to come out of this bottle, which it's not doing. So then I'll just take my little bits off with this then I'll pop my butterfly hold the body down and 
and that way whenever you put this into your folder your butterfly won't flatten out you'll always have it fluttering because it's got support under its wings so there we go that cards now done now card number three is my title card or eye candy card as I tend to call them so I have got my five and three quarter by three and three quarter base card to my cream now I've just got like a, a ledger page that I got from my stash and I'm going to pop that over here so that I can put my title and etc on it so it's got something to actually ground your storytelling I'm going to slant that onto one side. Now my florals, I've got some from the um, red flowers that I've cut and that's going to go down and this came from another piece. So I'm just going to stick those on there to give me my red flowers. I also want my butterfly up here so that you leave that full card free. I am going to put one of these lovely um, little ephemera pieces on and I think I might actually put that on foam tape. To raise that up okay so I'm going to do that first so I've raised that up and I'm just going to put that square now I have found where I can actually put my piece of dream on there so I'll get my glue and just stick that down. So now we're going to, I've sort of arranged how I want things done. So I've taken one of the top leaves off. I'm just going to pop that underneath then I'm going to put this little medium flower in and basically I'll just pop my base flowers in Now this particular one I've got some um, foam tape to build up so it sits above the others. And I'm going to stick the three leaf extra leaf. In underneath. And one of the little white underneath as well. Then I want the little tiny white flowers and I've got two leaves here tuck it up underneath and this one I want just popping out from the side I 
and with the butterfly once again I have done the flutter so press down and then as I said you've got your title card finished okay we're on to card number four once again I've got my six by four uh, ivory now what I had was a couple of strips um, from the waste paper on these particular pages so what I'm going to do with that I'll put this top piece up the top then I'm going to put the other because I'd run out of cards to actually make my base cards with so this is one way that you can actually do that so I'm going to put this one is one and three quarters wide as obviously all I had left of that paper so that is going to go up the top I'll rub my pencil markings there then I've got my bottom strip which is two inches by five and three quarter now I've distressed around the size but not in the middle so I'm laying them on then I found at the bottom of some of the papers had some strips so I've used one of those strips but I've cut this strip one inch and I've gone the full way across so just pop that onto your piece and then trim up these edges just here and here um, so that they will go into your folder so just snip those off and there we have our base card now I've got a true three and a quarter by four and a quarter um, yep so the other one will be four and one two four and three eighths of an inch so that you get your eighth of an inch border just around so that will fit a true three by four photo in and this is going here so you can actually see you've got your um, strip either side so we'll pop that on as well Now my little formation here, I've got your first thing you do is to put your big leaf on first. So you can still see some of that stripe. And then I've got my white rose I'll pop on. Just put a little bit of dollop of glue in the center then I've got some extra leaves I'm going to tuck in so you can see it at the side and then this one I've put some foam tape on so the red flower goes over the top and is a little bit raised so there we have card number four complete now we're on to our little 3x4 cards and once again because I couldn't get the separate little pocket pages I've had to use the 6x4 but I will make I will pop my pieces on there so it does actually look like the 3x4 pockets but if you have the pockets you just need to actually divide that card into 3x4 the same as this one here this is the paper I've used and I've just used the top hand corner and I've also used this one here with the um, check so these cards are quite easy to do so I have got here a three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths in the green and then I did 
three and three quarters by two and three quarters for just to get that little bit of green with my photo and that goes onto that white card stock to give that little tiny sixteenth of an inch border with this one this is three and three quarters by two and three quarters and once again you want that little white border all the way around exactly the same now these ones here have come from there is a tag sheet that comes with this uh, kit and of course I can't find it here it is here. and these are where I cut all my flowers from on here and I've always I've used these ones here and I've cut them with a bit of color around um, just slightly smaller than what they've actually got and I use the flower pot on that one and this one up here because I haven't used pink roses my ephemera is going to go up the top there so these actually get stuck down exactly the same for all of these cards And then you'll cut your tr this one here is two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths there we go and then we are going to put these frames that we've cut smack bang in the middle of our base card and that applies to both of these. Then we start layering our layers, which I've got one of the little um, ephemera tags from the pack, which we're going to cover over that rose then I want my leaf and that will signify where you start building so pop your raised flower up first further up and of course the foam tape is sticking to everything it's not supposed to so we'll stick that up then I've got my red flower I'll be popping underneath and I've got a spare leaf there that underneath then I've got another little medium which I'm going to just tuck underneath and that will give you and of course you could put some uh, wording here or even if you wanted to use the other page like this one for some writing or whatever you could actually put the title and the date on this card. Now this one here is really easy. I'm going to use the little bowl, but I want to hide these roses. So I've got one of the red ones I've cut, so I'm going to lay that flat and cover those up. But I'll use the little buds that they've got here and this one here. Then this one I'm going to pop just tuck that underneath and to hide some more I'll tuck that underneath there so we'll 
do our leaves first. So you just need a little bit showing. And then pop your singular one on first. Then we'll put our raised one down over the top and get that positioned. Oh, sorry. I'll get the rose leaves stuck. Now, so one good thing with this liquid glue, you can actually sort of move things around. So there we have our little eye candy cards with our photo cards and that's one side completely finished. Now we're doing the other side which is the right hand side and these are the some of the papers I've used and as you can see that is the piece that I cut for number four. Well I cut a piece of this here um, for my strip here and this is where I got my flowers from is this piece here and this piece here that piece we actually had pre-cut and we also have used this piece but it, this is where you get your ticket so you have to make sure that you definitely keep that ticket free when you're cutting your things out so i've done my cards here and i've got my five and three quarters by three and three quarter piece here this is five and a quarter by one and three quarters and the green piece is five and a half by two just to give you that nice border and I've pre-stuck that already for you just to speed up the process here you don't need to see me doing that so this goes once again with that border around so here is my little uh, layered what I'm going to basically use and this is going to go about here so I'm going to put my thing there so I can actually physically sort of see but if you have lots of ephemera this is one way that you can actually sort of layer things so you can actually see how it's all going to work on your card so you can actually start working from the bottom so you can sort of take some of these pieces out and layer them now i'm going to use wet glue instead of tape this time So then I can start my layering. And the wet glue will give me enough time that if I don't get them in the right spot, I can actually sort of move my things around. And then I sort of bring my layering in. And I'm going to stick these leaves behind this. that way you get your leaves looking realistic where they need to be now I'm also going to stick this one down now now this is where I would layer the 
the last part. Okay, so we'll stick that one down. This is the last one, and we know for a fact that I can just lift that up and just pop a bit of glue underneath. Pop that on. Now with this one, I want it slightly raised. So I'm just going to put one of those little paper dots in. Now this one I want raised. So I'm going to put... higher foam mounting tape on this so I get my little layer there over the top of this rose and then I want this one to be on top of the others so you have a little bit of layering going on but not so much that it will affect your album and once again I've fluttered my wings of my butterflies. The reason why I decided to use the orange butterflies is because of the orange in the insert of the flowers. It, it just gave it that little bit of extra pop, which I thought the, the, there was so much pink. There we have our definite eye candy card number six finished. Now we're on to card seven. I once again have got my five and three quarter by three and a three quarter base onto my ivory cardstock. Now I've got a true three by four photograph. So the green is three and a quarter by two and a quarter. Now this one is going to go down the bottom. So I'll quickly take that up and get that on to my card. Remembering you don't have to use mountains of tape because they are in a plastic folder, protected. And if you are using a good tape, which I always use the Express It tape because I find that this will last forever. Um, they won't unstick from your pages and also too, you can actually move it for about the first couple of hours and after that, if you try it tomorrow morning, you will not get those cards off of that piece of paper. So here, I have put my tape down here so I have got tuck room because I want to tuck this piece just under here. But I want that raised a little bit. So I've just put a piece of mounting tape on the top. And I'm going to put a piece of glue down the bottom. And just pop that underneath that card. Sort of poke it under. And slant it. Then what I'm going to do with this one... I want this one sort of tucked behind. So I tuck it underneath and over a bit over the, then my leaf, I'm going to tuck up and underneath until I'm happy with how it looks. So there we have card number seven done. Card number eight is a true photo mat. So I've just put my base card of five and three quarter by three and three quarter and I've got my three and a half by five and a half photo mat. So that goes right in the middle, centered. I 
and that's card eight finished. This is our last of our six by four cards and I've put my five and three quarter base card down on my ivory cream card. And these came from this sheet here is the leftovers from here that I use. So that whole piece there, you have to make sure that you don't cut your flowers. So what I did is I drew a line just above the flowers I was cutting so that I could actually get those two pieces. So I'm going to stick those down first before I put my photo. Now the photo mat is a true three by four, so you just need a piece of three by four black cardstock. So we'll stick these down first and then we'll start our layering. I might just move this one slightly across. It just needs to be moved, just a fraction. Put my photo frame back on. Yep, that's perfect. So now we can actually pop our photo frame on. Now I'm doing an unusual thing here. I'm just leaving a different gap. So you need it of roughly about a quarter of an inch from the top, otherwise you won't fit your flowers in the top. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a piece of glue on this. These flowers I want just tucked in over the side a bit. Like that. Then the little white one, I'm going to tuck underneath that photo frame. So it's just popping out a bit towards the side here. Then the two little leaves, I'm going to pop in. Just so you see them sort of popping out to give you some layering. Now I've got my butterfly here, which I haven't fluttered. So I'll cut my two pieces of Foam tape, turn him over, attach them to my wings, rip my tape off, very fiddly. There we go. Once again, a little bit of glue on the body. And just pop my butterfly up the top there of the flowers. So there's our last six by four card ready for our layout. So now we're on to our three by four cards and once again i've had to make these into a six by four but make them look like the three by four uh pockets so i've got my three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths photo mat the same as the cards on number five and the same goes here. I have got my five and seven eighths, and then my photo mat is three and a quarter by two and a quarter. I just moved my ephemera to one side there. Oop. Butterfly is sticking to us here like nothing. So that will go at the top. So there's our photo mats done. Now we'll do our, which is three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So pop that right into the middle. I 
remembering that you have a smaller gap there because you've got your two pockets. Now, if you've got pocket pages, you will just cut that right in the middle. Now, these were from the little tags. So, to match up, because I used on the other side, if you remember rightly, I used a strip. These two pieces are the bit that was left. So, I don't have quite enough to do the whole card. So, we will cheat. We will just pop one side and then pop the other one on the other side making sure that you've got the thicker at the top which I nearly didn't do right so then we have got our little round card here which is going to go sort of in the center of that card like that now to hide this print here, I have got one of those little um, tag ephemera pieces. There's plenty to choose from, so just cut one that takes your fancy and pop that over the top of that, or up towards the top. Now this piece here, I'm going to put here because I want to cover that white flower up. So I'm going to do some layering here to hide that. So we'll stick this down. Then I have got my white flower here I want here, which I've put mounting tape on. Then I've got some leaves and it was just a big leaf that I've split. I'm just going to tuck them up underneath to finish that card off. So there we have our first of our double cards. Now this one, I have cut this from um, one of the sheets that was left mainly because I had no other card left, so I thought it was quite pretty. And I thought, well, I'm putting a frame over the top. So I'm using the frame with the bird, but I cut, there was an extra piece just here. Well, I cut that off because I wanted it to lay this way. And once again, I've distressed all the edges of all these cards to make them pop. So we need to cover that bird up. These words were actually um, from the uh, ephemera sh little sheet that you have that comes with the pad. I'm seeing if I can find it for you. I think it was on the front cover. Yes, it was the front cover. You've got some words here, is what I've used. So I'm going to use that as well. And I've got a little butterfly. So we need our little cluster. Across here. Then I was going to put my memories down here. So I've put my memories so I can actually see how my cluster's working. Now I've raised that on mounting tape. So what I'm going to do is very gently just pull the whole thing apart and start tucking under. Stick this leaf down. Mm. 
stick my memories in in that corner there just pop that leaf over the top then my butterfly pop up into that white space which I've forgotten to glue the body So if you continue to the end, you would have finished your complete uh, layout and these ones will work this way. So you would have finished your complete layout now. So I will show you the finished item with all the photographs in um, just in a sec. The finished layout all done. I've changed the cards around a bit to actually suit uh, my photographs. So if they're not quite the same as what you've actually done the order in don't worry you can always change your cards around um, I do hope you enjoyed this process and don't forget to subscribe and like my channel because then um, you'll get notifications when I have new videos up so till next time keep crafting bye